Your work exists in quite a vast network of relationships and ideas, but you are, as an artist, primarily concerned with notions of painting. What is a painting? Um, the, the boundaries between imagehood and objecthood. Could you speak to that? Well, in general, yes, I'm very much interested in what is a painting? Painting as an image, uh, painting as a construction, painting as, well, a material reality. And what I really um, I'm interested in is almost some kind of a crossing between material reality and the image. It's like crossing the here and now and the there and then. So you employ a variety of methods to, as you say, lend this moment of rest to, to images to allow um, a painting's materiality and its imagehood coexist at the same time. And one of these is Ikat weaving that I didn't fully understand at the time. Would you mind elaborating uh, on how that functions? Because I think it's really interesting. In Ikat weaving, you paint the threads, the yarn, before weaving. So I paint warp and weft separately. Um, in the work I have in this show, uh, non radar semaphore, uh, I have actually two different images or combinations of different signals. Uh, while well drifted away from other works in the show. Um, and I separated them, uh, or as I divided them over warp and weft. So in the end, uh, by weaving, these two layers, warp and weft, come together. And for me it's about this, well, to multiply all the possible signals coming from a couple of ingredients, a couple of shapes. Um, but this whole thing about uh, painting the yarn before weaving, for me this is really the fusion of uh, painting and textile. And in this sense, uh, the image comes to lie within the carrier instead of to be on top of it. And this whole well, image on top of a carrier, for me has this, well, the danger of an image to, to drift away again, to, to slip off the canvas almost, and well, when the image is inside or um, well fused together with this carrier, it holds somehow, but it's also distorted. So you might say that weaving is a good analogy for your practice as a whole, in that um, you are creating a work in which the image is embedded and it's not, it's not surface, it's neither uh, representation or material, it's a, um, a shifting uh, dynamic between the two. Yeah, in patchwork, uh, for me the same synthesis happens, uh, but then it gives a t completely different structure. So as part of the exhibition you've created a series of paintings called the Zouave, and the Zouave are really interesting historical figures that have what you've described as a non-identity, which I'm sure you'd like to expand upon as it fits really well into the general themes of your practice. What I think is interesting about the Zouave is that he's not um, wearing his own flag, he's fighting for someone else, uh, for another flag. Originally, um, the Zouaves um, were from Algeria fighting for the French. Uh, they were voluntary regiments. The phenomena spreads around the world as um, the Zouave as a voluntary soldier for another country or another army. I'm interested in the figure, I'm interested in the phenomenon, I'm interested in the costume and basically it's the, it becomes a template. Uh, that a template of non-identity almost and that is filled in by the colors it is wearing. So one of your main areas of interest you might say is when is a signal functioning, when is it communicating and when is it resting, um, when is it in motion, uh, where does it travel and when does it take pause, say in fashion for example um, a symbol can be on a shirt, it can be on a hat, it can uh, walk along the catwalk and flow and be in, mo in actual physical motion or it can stay and it can lie on the ground and you're interested in um, exploring these various dynamics but also allowing, uh, allowing these signals to have a moment of rest where they're not working. As a starting point for these patchworks uh, I used uh, a pile of small party flags, uh, bunting, uh, 
and these were mainly uh, consisting out of well world world flags countries uh, using for FIFA for World Cup uh, for the Euro uh, zone whatever everything where different countries come together um, I had these uh, I had many of these piles and lying on the pile they were in rest not functioning as flags in this sense i was also interested in uh, maritime flags and flag signaling um, on sea um, when you see all the flags combined on the mast uh, being shown together it means party time it's in the harbor you see it with uh, uh, maritime uh, festivities but only a couple of them have a very specific meaning. And both, um, well, this pile of flags has the potential of communicating a very important signal, uh, help, uh, but also, hey, it's party time. Um, so this moment of rest, and from there on, it can go in two directions, in a, into a decorative one and a very functional uh, way of communi communicating. Um, so for me a painting also is well almost at this yeah, state or this, this uh, moment um, it can go both directions with um, trying to find this synthesis between painting and textile for me it also um, brings both traditions together and these traditions are al also quite contradictionary uh, when it comes to value and when it comes to how an image uh, moves or travels. So when approaching the works for the first time you're met with a series of what I can only describe as equations or readings of the decisions you've made, um, the different layers that stack up, what colours meet other colours. Um, I'm sure you can speak to that. I like this causality that you can follow uh, why this colour is there that uh, the green is in between the yellow and the blue. Uh, so you have the feeling of things overlapping, layers overlapping. Um, but during the process, uh, a work becomes a work. And while sewing, uh, sometimes accidents happen and one of the, the shapes lies, well, other ways around. And you're like, hey, that's a possibility. And now the causality is being questioned in the work. Uh, so at some point, yeah, it becomes a painting. When approaching a work, I find it quite um, gymnastic, you might say. There are lots of different dualities that coexist. From afar, I see it as a very sincere abstract painting, but then when I get closer, I become more aware of its materiality. And I think these um, challenges really speak to the uh, motion that you've expressed in terms of um, how a signal or symbol can change from afar and closer and how meanings can shift over time. So in denying a concrete foothold on interpretation, uh, this is the way that you let symbols rest because they're not working, as you say, to provide a concrete meaning. Uh, and in the same way, the works are sustained, they're alive, they require engagement, uh, and as soon as they have a singular interpretation, they kind of, they uh, lose their, their energy. And uh, you have a really good metaphor for describing this from uh, Moby Dick, which I'm sure you'd like to describe. In yeah, Moby Dick, the, um, Melville gives a, a beautiful example of what is understanding. And um, he says, you cannot know what a will is uh, when you see it in front of you in the water, uh, under the water surface, it's the shape constantly changes, it, it's moving, the shape is swimming, it's very dynamic and you cannot get one clear idea of it. Indeed, being killed or being uh, brought on land, being beached, uh, the whale dies. It's not a whale anymore because gravity makes it a completely different thing. Um, so what Melville tries to describe is this inability to understand uh, the will and, well, even in this, uh, this novel, um, yeah, the inability to, to understand what you're, uh, ch what, what you're chasing. When a work um, combines different contexts together out of one perspective almost, out of one 
shape or one situation, this is what I'm aiming for. So non-radar combines different contexts um, and different interests. Uh, it's an indication of time. Uh, it's a way of moving. Um, it's a way of communicating. When it is a metaphor for um, moving, for, for traveling, for uh, navigating, um, it's very much, it has very much to do with this full perception that you're seeing all the elements around you uh, which you need for your, well, for your goal, for your, uh, for your travel.